So, could you tell us about what all major topics that you have addressed in the last two terms? Uh, well, the, the last two terms, we've passed two budgets that have uh, been balanced budgets that have that have kept the growth in spending within inflation plus population. And what that means is we haven't raised your taxes, which is obviously very good. Um, in those two terms, we actually cut taxes. And do you have any specific plans for the South Asian communities uh, within your district? Um, specific plans for the South Asian communities in our district? Uh, yeah. I'd have to say, uh, Governor Abbott just got back from a trip to India, so this is very much first and foremost on our minds, I would say. And coming to the local control, so how will you work to ensure that the local governments are free to determine the best policies for the state? That, that's always a, a tricky issue because we want the governments who are closer to the people to be free to regulate where regulation is appropriate. However, if you remember, the most local level of control In coming to women's right, what efforts are, are you going to do uh, to make sure that one can do with one's body is not, uh, it's not, ex it's extended to all citizens and not uh, only to men. It's not uh, yeah. just kept to men. Well, I mean, I think we need to protect liberty. I think when you address any issue, whether it be for men or women, uh, you need to address the issue that a person should have the liberty to do what they want as long as they're not harming another person. Uh, tricky issue comes where that language is often used with the abortion issue. Coming to the state politics, how is it possible in a deep red state like Texas, Plato is getting popularity. So do you think he stands a chance to win the race? Um, does he have a chance to win the race? Yes. Do I think he's going to win the race? No, I don't. Um, you know, Texas is, national trends right now have, have, have made Democrats energized. I think in the end, 